How was the night last night? It was pretty rough. It was really long, uncomfortable. We had mice running around. We had a few people approach us. So we decided to go homeless for a weekend. We had always wanted to see what it would be like to be homeless, wanted to experience um, what people go through, but in a very small sense, obviously it's nothing compared to what people actually go through. It's just a tiny, tiny little sliver. Uh, but we wanted to see what it was like um, so that we could, um, I guess, gain more empathy, uh, see how we can, potentially help people um, given that now we would know more of what goes on. Yeah, it's good just to get a different perspective of what those people go through on a daily basis. We tried to bring a cell phone. We went to thrift stores, right. uh, but either they didn't work or we couldn't get in. Any footage that you see is not going to be really great quality because it's really old point shoot cameras. Have a great night. We found things very different even at the very beginning when we were going downtown the bus. The whole bus was full except for the two seats beside us. Uh, it was an interesting experience just being treated differently like that. Yeah, we ended up just walking lots. We probably walked for like two or three hours that first night. You really realize you lose concept of time, especially just <laughs> walking with nothing to do. Um, yeah, and you're used to like in everyday life looking at your phone all the time <laughs> like for time or for notifications and there's yeah. nothing to do like that there we just sat kind of on the side of the street watch people um it was interesting to see like some people totally way to ignore us like they would just walk by they would walk even really close to us wouldn't even wouldn't even say anything or look at us yeah I, I, like I remember this one group that stood right in front of us like probably a foot in front of where we were sitting and just talked there not noticing that they were right in front of two people and blocking us from seeing anything uh, as if we weren't even there now I'm scratching on the model cause I bought Hey, who does this cream? I'ma take the team We gon' be hot, hot like steam I just got the dreams, I don't know what you mean It's all funny to the feet Night number one Alright, we're live We're at some um, school Chinatown um, Just did lots of walking Watching people, not really too much. <laughs> Did laps, walked around the city like twice. Uh, East Hastings. things. Uh, some guy gave us some French fries. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> uh, Search for cardboard. Oh yeah. Just found a couple of little pieces. Successful day. the night last night? It was pretty rough. It was really long, uncomfortable. We had mice running around. We had a few people.
people approach us. Saying they weren't stealing anything, but not stealing probably anything. were. For some reason, standing there. Yeah, we were only in the same spot for like four hours, but. Seemed like eight at least. Just waiting for the sun to come up. And eventually, we couldn't wait anymore and we were freezing cold, so we started walking around. <laughs> Ended up finding a bench, Mike passed out. <laughs> and then some guy came and told us we were doing serving breakfast this morning, so took advantage of that, got some soup and coffee, some bread. It's pretty good. And now we're here, sitting and hanging out. Nothing to do. Right now we're waiting for the library to be open. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there we just did more walking. Yeah, the interesting thing with walking is that when you're in different neighborhoods, you get into some neighborhoods where there's not a large homeless population. So you get to see how people like react or are in your presence like mm -hmm. as a homeless person. We found a kind of an open park um, that had a big, big grass area. We just went right into the middle of the park and just collapsed and just It was sunny slept. at that moment, so. Yeah, so it was actually warm and we probably slept for an hour or hour and a half or something. And then, and then we eventually went to a shelter uh, for kind of an early dinner, like four o'clock dinner. Yeah, I it think was, it was, Yeah, and it was really good. People were super nice. Really friendly. And then after that, we decided that we wanted to spend part of the second night um, right in kind of the core for Vancouver for the homelessness, poverty, drugs, which is uh, Maine and Hastings. So we were there from like eight till I don't know, two, three. Yeah. Four o'clock. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and it was it was definitely a different experience. Like we didn't film much at all uh, because that place would be the most dangerous place to do any sort of film. And then as we were sitting on, on the corner, um, we were asked if we had certain drugs. And I actually sighed a path. No one ever sleeps at that area. Like throughout the night, people are up, people are walking around, people are always on the hunt for something or probably just paranoid. You don't want to really sleep in that area. And that's kind of why eventually we decided that we would actually try and get some sleep mm -hmm. and go searching for a better area. We set up our little camp and then, I don't know, within 15 minutes, security came and kicked us out. And now we're being kicked out. So we have to figure out where to go. Any ideas, Nick? Parks are good because then you can sleep on grass. But it's kind of secluded and maybe sketchy. We just finished night two. Uh, it was a pretty awful night. Uh, maybe as bad as night one. <laughs> um, got kicked out of two different places. One place in the park, there was just people hanging out there and we were noisy. Uh, they gave us two dollars because they were noisy <laughs> and said continue. sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Continued it so we eventually just left because we couldn't sleep there. Then we found a place under a bridge, uh, which is really good. Um, so finished our night there, but like every time in the morning, you just feel so sore because your neck is just cranked and your hips are sore, ribs sore, and this is only our second night doing it. <laughs> so I can't imagine doing it for like weeks at a time, months at a time, years at a time. Uh, you're gonna be in rough shape. And then now we're going to 
gas town slash real town kind of area. Uh, gonna get some breakfast at 8.30 dugout. at the dugout. Um, probably soup again and old buns and stuff. But that sounds pretty good right now. So in terms of lessons that we learned, so I think if you are someone that's already struggling with mental illness or maybe addiction, um, it's probably the worst place to have things like that. Not, not only because it's boring and you're kind of in your head, but we're also like paranoid, like especially at night, we're paranoid most of the night just for our safety. Right. So if you're already struggling from mental illness and then you have this extra paranoia on top of it, I can't even imagine. Yeah, and I think one of my biggest takeaways was just how much I value comfort. Mm. Sitting on the ground or benches or like when we found the grass, that was like yeah, <laughs> the most so comfortable, comfortable. thing. Um, yeah, so really taking comfort for granted is something that I realized. Um, another thing, just throughout the whole experience, is thinking about the um, power that these substances have like the addictions the power they have over the people to just be willing to do that day in and day out yeah it was so hard if they're willing and to give up all this stuff for uh the drug that's controlling them mm -hmm. I, i'm glad that we did it i'm glad we had the experience we know more of what people on the street are going through we have more uh, empathy because we went through this experience um, so even though it was really short only one weekend um, and some people do it for years and decades so it was only a tiny little just sliver a yeah just a kind of, a little glimpse but all, just in that glimpse uh, we learned a lot yeah absolutely